what's up everybody Moses Sabai here and today we'll be talking about principles of art and design so what are principles of art and design well these are the are the principles that are used to organize the basic element of art line shape form value color space and even texture so it basically helps put things together in a visually in a visually way so that it can look um visually powerful so real quick i'm going to head to the to i'm going to head straight to the principles um there are about seven and i'm going to tackle each one of them so let's start shall we well the first one is balance what is balance balance is um the visual weight of a piece of art um the distribution of the visual weight of object color texture and space so let's say if the design was a scale um these elements should be balanced to make a design feel stable so basically um balance is achieved when um, both sides of the of the artwork feels they are visually balanced in short you can feel that sense of balance when you when you look at the at the whole artwork so there are three types of balance and um, there is the symmetrical asymmetrical and radial basically the symmetrical is when one side of the design are similar to those of the other side so for example um take a look at this picture you can feel that sense of balance in such a way that um, one side of the painting there is a building that is similar to the other side of the painting and there is a a, a path that that crosses in between the the two sides so in that case you can feel the sense of balance when you look at this picture because one side is similar to the other so if you put let's say a, a way balance in uh, in between the the painting um you'll the 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 whole artwork generally in a visual way it will feel balanced because one side of the uh, of the picture is same as the other side of the picture so in a symmetrical balance this is when the sides are different but still looks balanced so let's say for example um you put a you 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 divide your 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 artwork or or your design into two um one side is going to be different to the other side but it will feel uh it will still give you that sense of balance so like for example look at this picture um one side is not is not same as the other side but there is the sense of balanced because um if you look at at the farthest end there, there are these uh buildings that that are tall and and small but but there are many about um about five or six but on the other side there is a log and it's close but it's only one so it gives you that sense of balance that the one side there is like let's say um there is something like 50 kg of sugar and the other side there is 50 kg of of feathers both are the same size but one is different from the from the other in terms of the of the of the materials or the matter so basically what a symmetrical balance is um it's when one side is different from the other side but still looks balanced that it gives you that visual balance well for the radial and um, this is easy this is whereby the elements are arranged around a central point and may be similar it's not a must that they be similar they can be different but so long as they are arranged around a central point so like for example um a flower a flower is um let's say the the 
the the petals or what do they, the, they call them? I think the petals. Um, yeah. So, um, they encircle a central point. So, if you if you if you divide the flower into two, you find out that it's it's a radial kind of balance. So, also look at this picture. Um, it's um like a roof of the of a building. It's also radial balance. You can feel that balance um, if you put, if you divide it into two, you can feel that one side is same as the other. So it's radial and it's balanced. So basically, radial, radial balance is when elements are arranged around a central point and they can be similar or they can be different. So long as you can feel that visual balance. So emphasis, um, this is the part of a design that draws our viewers attention. So emphasis can be achieved through color, through texture, through shape. So for example, um, if you look at this picture, um, you'll find out that the red ball is the one that stands out the most out of the all the all the the grayish balls that are around. Um, so the red ball is the one that draws the viewer's attention first. Um, movement. Um, this is the path the viewer's eye take through the work of art often to a fo to focal areas such can be directed along lines sh edges shape and color within the work of art so for example um if you look at this picture you can see um that movement um how the 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 sign the signages are directing your eyes up to the part where it appears like it's vanishing. So variety, um, basically, it's when, when it's, it's when several elements of design are used to hold the viewer's attention and also to guide the viewer's eye through and around the work of art. So it can be like um squares when it can it can be like using so many different kinds of shapes of shapes like squares um circles triangles um basically using different um elements of design um pattern is the repeating of an object or symbol all over the work of art it can either be in an organized way or in a random way so for example it can either be like a weaving of a basket um, um, a chessboard the way they are black and white those are patterns Um, rhythm and um, this is created when one or more elements of design are used repeatedly to create a feeling or organized mo movement so let's say it creates a mood or a feeling in the artwork so basically rhythm is very um, it's very common in music in art um, it's just the same it creates a mood or feeling in the artwork so it can be like so many lines in a spiral way or so many curved lines um so long as it gives you that that feeling um also we have unity um unity is the feeling of harmony between all parts of the work of art which creates a sense of completeness all part all parts belong together in such a way that when you look at an artwork 
we can feel that it's unified so lastly proportion this is when all parts of the artwork um, size amount and location fit well together um, so let's say for example when you are drawing the human figure the proportion can be referred to the size of the head compared to the rest of the body thank you for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe